While February and March were heavy hitters for new Nintendo Switch games, April, well, April's not quite as big, but there are still some games that I do want to talk about. Some bigger titles, some smaller titles, some titles that you probably never even heard of before because, I mean, I hadn't heard of them before. So that's what we're going to do in today's video. We're going to go over the upcoming Nintendo Switch games for the month of April. What's going on guys, I'm RGT85, if this is your first time on the channel, welcome! Be sure to hit that subscribe button and be sure to like the video, but without any further ado, let's talk about the upcoming Nintendo Switch games for the month of April 2021 and see what games you might be interested in. Kicking things off on April 6th, we have Star Wars Republic Commando Remastered. Now this is a remaster of the pretty interesting first person shooter that was set within the Star Wars universe that originally came out on the original Xbox. Now this is a story driven single player campaign in which you are in a squad known as the Republic Commandos and actually takes place during the Clone Wars timeline of the Star Wars universe. You have some squad mates with you which are AI controlled and you basically tell them what to do and where to go and the game is very very high on action. Now it is worth noting that the remastered edition does not include the online multiplayer that the original game had which I think is a bit of a disappointment. But honestly though, Star Wars Republic Commando Remaster looks really interesting, and I mean, how many times do you see first person shooter games set within the Star Wars universe, at least within the modern era? Star Wars Republic Commando comes out on April 6th for your Nintendo Switch, and is yet another game to add to the growing library of classic Star Wars games available on the system. On April 9th, we have The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 4. Now I've said it before and I will say it again, I know nothing about this series and honestly for the longest time I thought it was Trials of Cold Steel, not Trails of Cold Steel because, well I guess I'm an idiot. But Trails of Cold Steel 4 is hitting the Nintendo Switch on April 9th and I'm sure the JRPG fans in the comments section down below are very excited. And you know what? educate me on this series. I think the graphics look nice and the combat looks fun enough and people seem to really enjoy this franchise. So what is it about the Trails of Cold Steel games that you guys seem to enjoy? Let me know in the comments down below because you might end up helping me or more importantly, you might end up helping others watching this video. The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 4 comes out on Nintendo Switch on April 9th and a lot of people seem to be excited for this. Before we get into the next game on our list, I have to give a huge thank you to our sponsor for this video, Surfshark VPN. I've said it before and I'll say it again, RGT wants you to be protected when you're surfing the internet, and Surfshark VPN was kind enough to sponsor today's video and they will give you that protection. Surfshark VPN is a fast and easy to use VPN service that you can use on a variety of devices. I have it on my PC right here, I simply just click a button and bam, now I'm protected online. With the WWE Network merging into Peacock in the United States, Peacock has actually been removing content they deem inappropriate from the service, but with the Surfshark VPN I can easily use a UK based proxy and still have access to the complete WWE Network. And right now by using the link in the description box down below in the code RGT you can get Surfshark VPN at an 83% discount which is the cheapest you can get it anywhere, plus you get 3 extra months for free. One membership allows you to hook up all your devices to your account, whether it's a cell phone, a desktop, a laptop, or even your Xbox or PlayStation console. So protect yourself with Surfshark VPN. Check out the link in the description box down below, and huge thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. On April 13th, we have an interesting looking game called Poison Control, which is usually the company you call when you drink something you shouldn't have. Charlie, put down the bleach, buddy! I'm telling you, put down the bleach! Now this is yet another very Japanese kawaii looking game, but I think the gameplay itself looks pretty fun. It's an action shooter RPG hybrid where you switch between two characters and basically try and clear these areas called Bell's Hells as the game takes place, well, within hell. Now the story itself I'm sure is fine, but I think the thing that really appeals to me are the graphics of the game which look good enough and have a JRPG feel to them and the combat actually looks like a lot of fun in which you're doing different types of combat from a top down twin stick shooter to a more behind the backs almost sin and punishment style of gameplay. Poison Control comes out on the Nintendo Switch on April 13th and hey you might want to check it out. On April 14th, we have a game called Night Squad 2. Now, Night Squad 2 is allegedly the second game in the Night Squad series, but I'll be real, I've never really heard of the first one. The game is basically an action... 
The game is basically an arcade style game with some vibes of games like Gauntlet and Bomberman in which you take on seven other people in various battlefields and of course try and be the winner. Now beyond just the standard combat modes in the game, it seems like there's different game styles as well built into it, such as like a soccer mode, and the game says it has over 100 different fields to play on within this game. Like I said, this game supports up to 8 players in local mode or in online mode, and the online mode for the game is actually crossplay as well, so that's pretty cool. Obviously this isn't a big AAA game or anything like that, but at a reasonable price point, I think Night Squad 2 could end up being a lot of fun, especially if you have friends playing on other platforms. Night Squad 2 hits the Nintendo Switch on April 14th. On April 15th, we have Saga Frontier Remastered. Now, this game originally released back in like 1998 on the PlayStation 1, and this version of the game actually has a lot of stuff that was not included in that original version of the game. Saga Frontier Remastered features cutscenes that were initially removed from the game. Of course, things like HD graphics and quality of life improvements, such as double speed during battles to speed things up, new music, and even a brand new character to play as within the main story of the game. I think the style of this game looks really cool, sort of embracing a more sci-fi theme instead of the more traditional JRPG style that we saw at that time point, because Square was really on top of their game during the late 90s and really doing a lot of different styles of games. Saga Frontier Remastered is a game I've never played before, but I think I'm going to pick it up on the Nintendo Switch when it comes out on April 15th. On April 16th, we have a game called Battle Axe. Now, if you like retro style games, Battle Axe is probably a game you're gonna be interested in. Battle Axe was actually a Kickstarter that was created by Hank Nyberg, I hope I'm saying that right, who did artwork for many retro and retro inspired games such as Contra 4 on the Nintendo DS. It's an arcade style game that kind of reminds me of a blend of like Dungeons and Dragons games mixed with a bit of Gauntlet, which is actually the second time we've talked about Gauntlet in this video, which is a new record for me. You have three different characters, all with unique abilities that you can choose to play as in the game as well. You level up your characters, you get weapons, hack and slash enemies, all that sort of fun stuff. The music of the game is actually done by the woman who made the original Mega Man music as well, so hopefully that's an indication of a quality soundtrack. I think this game looks pretty cool, I like the sprite style in it as well, and Battle Axe comes out on the Nintendo Switch on April 16th. On April 22nd we have MotoGP21. Now people bash me every year for buying the NBA 2K games, but there are literally people who buy the MotoGP series every year, so I mean pick on them instead of me. MotoGP21 is a racing game in which you have high performance sports bikes and you race around tracks. New features in this version of the game include a new suspension system and heat impacted brakes, which if you're a fan of arcade racing style games means nothing to you, but those of you who prefer a sim style will probably dig these features. There's a new managerial career mode in the game as well that has you hiring and firing people on your team. I've honestly always wanted to try one of these games after the year it was already released when it's on sale, because unlike a sports game, you don't have to worry about teams and rosters or whatever, but yeah, MotoGP 21 comes out on April 22nd for your Nintendo Switch, and if you like bikes, you might like this game. On April 30th, we have arguably the biggest game for the Nintendo Switch for the month, and that is new Pokemon Snap. Now, as someone who took photography in 8th grade with Mr. Wazalewski, I know a thing or two about photography. And Pokemon Snap on the N64 is really one of the most underrated games of all time, and I am glad that we are getting a new Pokemon Snap game called New Pokemon Snap. I mean, yeah, it's a terrible name, but I mean, whatever. In New Pokemon Snap, you are tasked with taking pictures of Pokemon in various poses and positions. The better the photo, the better the rewards. It plays like a slow paced on rail shooter if you've never played the original game before, but one of the issues with those styles of games is the fact that, well once you play a level that's an on rail shooter and find any of the secrets, that's pretty much it. In New Pokemon Snap however, there are actually a bunch of level variants that will impact things, so that's pretty cool. And as your character levels up, more Pokemon will come out to explore the various levels as well, which is nice for things like replay value. New Pokemon Snap features over 200 various Pokemon to encounter in the game as well, and is by far the best looking Pokemon visual experience that we have ever seen before. Now although this game probably should have came out on the Wii U because it would have been a lot of fun with the gamepad, New Pokemon Snap does feature gyro controls. I'm honestly way more excited for this game than the Diamond and Pearl remakes, and I legit can't wait to play this game and revisit some childhood nostalgia. 
New Pokemon Snap will be dropping on your Nintendo Switch on April 30th. And finally, also on April 30th, we have R-Type Final 2 releasing. Now, it's been a long time since a new R-Type game has come along, but the horizontal shooter is returning with R-Type Final 2. This was yet again another successful crowdfunding project, and although Gauntlet has nothing to do with this game, Gauntlet is a retro gaming franchise and so is R-Type. Now there's a story within the R-Type games, but I really don't care because when it comes to games like this, I need three things. Good controls, good music, and good visuals. In terms of that, it seems like R-Type Final 2 is going to hit the marks with all of those, with nice graphics, high tempo music, and I mean, it's R-Type, so the controls of the game should be fine. This is getting a physical and a digital release, and it's probably going to be very limited on the physical side of things, so if you're a Nintendo Switch collector, you might want to pick this up physically. R-Type Final 2 comes out on Nintendo Switch on April 30th, and I think it looks pretty dope. Alrighty, so that is going to do it for the upcoming Nintendo Switch games for the month of April. As always, there are wildcard games. These are only the games that have been announced at the time of the filming of this video and given release date. So there could be more stuff. I mean, who really knows? So let me know in the comments section down below what games you plan on picking up for April on your Nintendo Switch. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications to see more videos like this. Of course, big thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. Make sure you guys check out the link in the description box down below to save 83% on Surfshark VPN and get three months for free. Protect yourself online. And as always, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.